Good evening. We begin tonight with new developments in two Metro Vancouver homicide investigations. Shootings that left two men dead. One in Surrey, the other in New Westminster. The CBC's Tina Lovegreen is at IHIT headquarters tonight. And Tina, let's begin with the case in New West. What's the latest there? Mike, a 19-year-old has been charged with second-degree murder. His name is Sam Jafrudi. Police say that he had some interactions in the past with them, but the victim, 20-year-old Rebel Kanif Abera, was not known to them. Police say the two men knew each other, but the shooting wasn't gang-related. I can tell you at this point that, that the two were known to each other. That's really all I can say at this point. Um, uh, this was not a random incident. And uh, unfortunately, I can't get into any further details on that. It, the matter is not before the court. Police not saying anything more about the relationship or possible motive. But what we do know is that the shooting happened on Saturday night around Hume Park. Police were called to the scene around 7.30 p.m. That's when they found the victim suffering from gunshot wounds. And then they were able to actually chase down the suspect through tips from witnesses. It was a number of things that led to the arrest, but certainly... Uh, witness statements, uh, the help of witnesses was definitely at the forefront of that. And Jafrudi is expected to appear on, in court on May 13th. All right, and what else have we learned about the shooting in Surrey? Are the two related in any way? No, they're not related. The one in New Westminster, as we heard, was not gang-related, but the one in Surrey, investigators say, is gang-related. And I'm going to refresh your memory on what happened there. It was Friday night. It happened just after 5 p.m. in the Fraser Heights neighborhood. When police arrived, they found an 18-year-old Surrey man who had been shot. But they aren't releasing his name, though they say they're confident that his death is linked to the Lower Mainland gang activity. We also know that the victim didn't live in the area where they they found him, um, but no information exactly on how he ended up there. Investigators are searching for this red Chrysler 300 sedan, which they believe is associated with the shooting. And they're asking anyone with dash cam footage of the vehicle to get in touch with them immediately. And Mike, what's really concerning here is that both of these shootings happen in public at a time where people would be out walking their dog um, and, and walking about. So this very concerning to residents. Nice weather when children are out playing and families are out uh, walking their dog. It's very, it's very concerning to us. And over the past weekend, we've heard the concerns of the residents of Surrey. There is a dedicated team of investigators behind the scenes working to find out exactly who pulled the trigger and took the life of a young man in our community. So again, Mike, police reassuring the public that they're doing everything they can to catch those responsible. Meanwhile, they're asking anyone with information to get in touch with them. All right, Tina Lovegreen in Surrey tonight. Thanks.